Hi, I'm Ian Walsh with OnlineLessonVideos.com. Also on Facebook at Online Lesson Videos. Check us out there. Today we're working on a tune called Maiden's Prayer. It's in the key of A. It's all one part. It's very slow. We're going to be focused on, uh, focusing on a high lonesome sound. So we're going to be doing some heavy double stops in this video. I've recorded a sample for you to listen to here. And at the end of this lesson video, we'll be playing along together. Hope you enjoy it. Maiden's Prayer. Okay, to start this tune off, in the key of A, there's a scale pattern in here that is very common. It's called the arpeggio. Let's take a look at this right before we get into the tune. We're going to start on a low A. We're going to play a C sharp, still in the G string. Then we're going to play an E. Then we skip the rest of the, any, any more notes on that string we skip. We go to an open A. We play a C sharp. We play an E on the open string. And then we play our high A. And then we go back down. We play A. E, C, A, E, C, A. Let's cycle through this about five or six times. Two, three. Okay, to start this tune, we have a pickup note, a couple of them, and this, in this case, these pickup notes are moving downwards. I'm going to show you the straight way to play it, and then I'm going to show you a bit of a variation you can do. So if I count it in, it starts like this, one, two, three. That's the straightest way we can play it. The way I have it written out in your notes is with a bit of a chromatic downslide. We go to it from a C sharp to a C to a B to an A. So it's a little bit different. It sounds like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, now the third and final thing I do here sometimes is add in, instead of starting on the C sharp, I kind of ghost a note here and start on the C natural really quickly up to the C sharp and then back down, giving me this effect. So it sounds like this, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Missed at that time. One, two, three. 
in one, two, three. Okay, take a look at that double stop right there. It's an A and an E. Now we have some of this arpeggio formation that starts to come in. We do a quick, first I'll show you the notes, then I'm gonna show you how you bounce your bow and double stop. You play a C, E, A, C. And we're gonna rest on that C sharp again. So the notes in time sound like this. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And one, two, three. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is add in a double stop to every note. The low A, you can double stop with an E, make a fifth double stop right there. Those are the same finger, two different notes, A and E. Our next one, the C sharp, you already have that E in place, just leave it there. Then we get a C sharp and an E. For this E, we're gonna play an A. Okay, for the uh, C sharp, we're gonna play a high E. Like that. So we've made it all the way across the four strings of the fiddle. Here's what it looks and sounds like. One, two, three. And I'm bouncing my bow, I'm down low on the bow, so. Not that high. Okay, this is one of those things where repetition is gonna come in handy. The more you do this, um, the more smooth your double stops are gonna sound. Let's do it three more times. One, two, three. We'll move into the next segment and then we'll finish the rest of uh, the tune.